Hi! Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to your Lord's Day Sunday afternoon Devo. Part 2 of episode 1045. And in this one, we're going to be learning about greater love. From Amy Butcher Pie, derived from John 15, 9 through 17. So if you're excited about this one, hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to leave a like. Remember the like challenge. Go back to the morning video for explanation. Um, remember the like challenge will be null uh, canceled if it's not met by episode 1100 of the Daily Devo series. So. Just two more days to my birthday from today. Which is on Tuesday. So, subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications. Please help me reach the 50 mark by Tuesday. But you have until midnight Tuesday to do it. I'm giving you till midnight, 12.01, to hit it, to hit 50. So if you'll do that for me, I will greatly appreciate you. More than you'll ever imagine. And help me get to 100 by May 27th or by episode 1095 or even August the 1st. Hopefully the end of summer for most people. But if you do that for me, I would greatly appreciate you on that one as well. So make me a happy man by hitting that 50 mark for my birthday, please. So greater love. Um, just from Amy Butcher Pie, just days before Holy Week, when Christians around the world remember Jesus' sacrifice and celebrate his resurrection, a, te a terrorist stormed into a supermarket in southwest France, opening fire and killing two. So after negotiation, the terrorist released all but one hostage, whom he turned into a human shield. Knowing the danger, police offer Arnaud, A-R-N-A-U-D, Beltrame, B-E-L-T-R-A-M-E, did the unthinkable. He volunteered to take the woman's place. The perpetrator released her, but in ensuing scuffle, Beltrame was injured and later died. So a minister who knew the police officer attributed his heroism to the faith in Jesus, pointing his words to John 1530, or 1513, excuse me. Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. Those were the words Christ spoke to his disciples after their last meal together. He told his friends to love each other as I have loved you, verse 12. And that the greatest love is to lay down one's life for one another, as you see in verse 13. So this is exactly what Jesus did the next day when he went to the cross to save us from our sin, as only he could. And we just did celeb celebrated that last Sunday, so... So we may be never called to follow the heroism of Arnaud Beltrame, Beltrame, however it's pronounced, but as we remain in God's love, we can serve others sacrificially, laying down our own plans and desires as we seek to share the story of his great love. Amen? I breeze right through that one. <laughs> so, two questions. Make sure you uh, leave your responses in the comments by putting Q1 or Q2 or some response to these questions if you feel need to. But I, question one, how do you react to stories such as that of Arnaud Bel Beltrame, Beltrame? And how can you serve, number two, how can you serve someone sacrificially today? Doesn't have to be you, it could be someone else. 
It could be someone else account that's helping you figure it out. But put those by putting Q1 and Q2 in the comments and the response. But ponder those questions by saying this. Dear Jesus, you died to give me life everlasting. May I live with gratitude for this gift and share it with those who put you put in my path. So your uh, Bible reading for today is 1 Samuel 30 and 31. And then the rest of Luke 13. Let me check. Yeah. The rest of Luke chapter 13, verses 23 through 35. So coming up tomorrow in your uh, fantastic Monday, daily, daily bread Devo. After one tomorrow, part two of episode 10, 46, we'll be remembering to praise. We'll learn how to be, how we, sh how we should be remembering to praise. From James Banks, derived from Isaiah 63, 7 through 9. So stay tuned for that. I'll get to that later tonight, but you'll see that one tomorrow after one. So, well, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God. And he'll keep you safe and all you're saying do in 2023 and beyond. And until later, peace out, everybody. <whistles> so long, farewell. Come back later after seven, and we'll be listening to the, we'll be learning about the third installment of Indeed, Personal Accounts of the Resurrection Story, weekend number three, for, for, for the April Turning Point series, and we'll be listening to the account from Thomas, from the Resurrection Story. Beginning with John 20, 25, which we'll be reading in the recommended reading, John 20, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, we'll read 20, 25, We'll be starting with 2025. Then we'll continue and read 26 through 29. Our turning point is from Henry Drummond. And in the weekend reading for the, the Bible reading, 1 Kings 16 through 20. So hope you read uh, the way to split it up. Read 16, 17, and half of 18 yesterday or for Saturday. And then read the, the rest of 18, 19, and 20 today. So that was the way to do it. So hopefully you'll have it ha have that first half done and then read the rest of the half before tonight's video. So with that said, I love you. With God, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see you later. <laughs> So until later, me and Baby Yoda, we out until then. So have a great rest of your Sunday afternoon, your Lord's Day Sunday afternoon, and we'll see you later for the next installment of the April weekend series and talking, hearing about the account of Thomas from the resurrection story. Sounds like a good one. So, so come back and find out what that's going to be about. I hope you're enjoying the weekend series. The Weekend Turning Point series. Because so far, I can say, yeah, it's pretty good. But to actually sit there and read all of them together to see which one. And then hopefully by the end of the month, when we do the, the last part, you'll be able to put your, fav your, your favorite account of the resurrection story from the ones we heard from. So... And like last week, we heard about the disciples, and the week, and the first week, we heard from the account of Mary Magdalene. So that was a pretty good one for me, about Mary Magdalene, the first one. So, but stay tuned. I'll get to that in just a few minutes, but you'll see that later after seven. So I hope to see. I hope to see you there. So until then, goodbye. <laughs>